we are coming to the most interesting block um which is why you are here today so i'm we're going to talk about that as well um so far we saw about you know what mistakes we are making and how things are going wrong and also becoming mindful about the traps the um you know the tricks that we should be extremely mindful about um salary expectations or uh, definitely skill plays a very important role and of course market demand plays a very important role if i can get a particular skill set uh you know from the market uh, for a lesser salary there's no reason why i should hire somebody with higher salary right and um, as i always say diamonds are everywhere so i've always uh, been a great proponent of learning first and earning next right and um, i always believed in that and that's one of the preambles with which we have developed this entire uh, session right and um, so i believe all of you will appreciate that life is a marathon not a sprint and uh, all of us have a you know 75 80 years of life ahead of us and we need to be you know little chilled out and also part, but also have a focus in terms of how our journey should be and that is what uh, we have basically uh, you know uh, we have set as a model for here so there are three things that you need to get into a job one is qualification which i am uh, you know we'll talk about that uh, skill and experience all right and um, first thing is uh, it's easy thing that you can tick yourself off from this list you are already qualified right you have some qualification in your hand whether you are doing bba or bsc botany or you are doing b electrical engineering or you are doing mba or mca or a b ed course doesn't matter you already have a qualification and this qualification has certain opportunities in the market so there is already one thing that you are ticked off in this list qualification right so now there are two more components that is generally missing out in our list how to get skilled another important thing that i would like you to keep in mind is getting certification is not equal to getting skilled just because somebody tells you that you are certified you cleared your certification cleared your exam doesn't mean that you have the skill it only means that you have a basic awareness about what is required to do application is the key if you have not applied what you have learned you are not really good enough now the daba cook earns about 30000 rupees per month a swiggy delivery boy gets about 25000 to 40000 rupees right a ola driver makes about 30000 to 90000 rupees now a graduate apprentice trainee gets about 13000 rupees now answer me do you feel a little uh or is a upset with this figures now you can increase your value by gaining work experience just like i gave you the example of 13000 rupees to 50000 rupees it's a real life case study um which of course i will explain if you want to know the story in end of the session uh, if you want to know what that uh, exponential curve is all about um you need to get work experience now the question is this there's this uh, work experience paradox i'm still a student how do i get work experience okay so let me give you some options internship is one option right the other option is 